Caused by mutations in two genes, polycystic kidney disease, or PKD, causes kidney cysts that increase in number over a lifetime. And they lead to numerous manifestations, including pain from an enlarging kidney, high blood pressure, you can develop urinary tract infections, and ultimately because the cysts are press on the normal kidney tissue, uh, the, the normal kidney tissue stops working, so you can develop end-stage kidney disease. There are numerous uh, manifestations of PKD outside of the kidney as well that can be quite serious, and this includes liver cysts and brain aneurysms as well. Affecting about 600,000 people in the U.S., PKD is the most common inherited disorder that leads to renal failure. Many patients will eventually require dialysis or a kidney transplant. As a center of excellence, the University of Maryland's PKD Clinical Center provides comprehensive patient-centered care. This is a multidisciplinary clinic, so in addition to nephrologists that are treating the kidney issues, we um, involve neurosurgery for any issues regarding brain aneurysms. We have hepatologists that address liver issues, interventional radiology, and then most importantly, we have a very strong uh, kidney transplant program here. In addition to providing specialized care, the center also conducts research to discover new treatments to slow the progression of the disease. And that ranges from observational studies, studies where we're collecting information over time, trials, trials of novel or uh, repurposed drugs for the treatment of polycystic kidney disease. Thus far, only one drug has been approved by the FDA for the treatment of PKD, so the need for further research is critical. There's been an explosion in interest in developing new drugs for this disease, uh, and that's just at a very exciting time to be a participant or, or an investigator in the area of this research. So uh, it's a time, I think, of, of great hope. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.